Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good night, everyone. Hello. This is Minister Julie, welcome. Yes, Sister Kathy. Welcome, Sister Michelle. Good night. Welcome. May the Lord bless you. Open those doors. Amen. Tonight we pray that the Holy Spirit will fall afresh upon us. Yes. Yeah, we pray that the Spirit may fall afresh and take over. Whatever the situation is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody go ahead and share this message. Good night, good night, good night. Wherever you're connecting from, good night. May the Lord turn it around for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I came out tonight with a quick word. Amen. Yes, I encourage you to share. Yes, Sister Nicola, welcome. I see you're sharing. May the Lord do something for you in this season. Amen. From the least to the greatest, I pray that God will remember you. Whatever you desire, it is my prayer that it will come to pass. Go ahead and share. guide your footsteps and teach you his ways welcome 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 Jesus
Let us pray. In the book of Jeremiah, chapter 42, Jeremiah was asked to intercede for some people. And the Bible declared, it said, And then Jeremiah the prophet said unto them, I have heard you. Behold, I will pray unto the Lord your God according to your words, and it shall come to pass that whatsoever thing the Lord shall answer you, I will declare it unto you. I will keep nothing back from you. Then they said to Jeremiah, The Lord be a true and faithful witness between us. If we do not according to all things for the which of the Lord, thy God shall send thee to us. Whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord our God, to whom we send thee, that it may be well with us when we obey the voice of the Lord our God. Tonight I pray that it will be well with you. You know what you are asking God for. Jeremiah was very clear. He said, when I go to God, whatever God tell me to tell you, I will not hold it back. Be it good, be it evil. He said, I will not hold it back. But my prayer is that it will be well with you. You see, many times we hear the word, it is well, or it will be well with you. It's a blessing. It doesn't matter what your story is tonight. I declare over your life that it will be well with you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Somebody go ahead and share this message. Tonight I came to pray. And I declare over you. I declare Jeremiah chapter 42 over your life. That it doesn't matter what you're asking God for. I pray that it will be well with you. In the name of Jesus. Nassau, Bahamas, I see you. Amen. Whatever your story is, it is my prayer that it will be well with you. You see, anybody and everybody can go to God. But when God's servant go to God, it's a whole different story. When God's servant go to God, it's not the same. On your behalf, you could be fasting and praying. But when God's servant, I want you to be in the spirit. I want you to be in the spirit. Your flesh cannot glorify God. The Bible said the flesh cannot please God. The flesh cannot serve God. So, according to Jeremiah chapter 42, verse 5 and verse 6, the people said on three different occasions that whatever, they affirmed that whatever God said, they will do. You see, when people really need something from God, when people are desperate, they're obedient. But when they are not desperate, they don't think it's, they don't even think of praying. But these people was waiting for the prophet to come to them with a word from God. It doesn't matter if the word was good or if it was bad. Oh, Jesus. So be it good or evil. Tonight we declare.
that whatever the Lord said right here about you, it will come to pass. I want you to open your mouth and pray. I'm coming into agreement with you concerning your prayer request, concerning your covenant, oh Jesus, concerning your covenant. Last week, I received a message, a phone call. One of our members visited a church. And the pastor said to the member, one of El Shaddai member, visit a church. And the pastor turned to the member and said, the Lord said, the covenant that you are in, that's what's keeping you alive. The co this person from El Shaddai visit a church and the pastor call out the member from El Shaddai and declare that the covenant that you have entered in with the ministry that you are a part of, that's what's saving you. People of God, tonight I came to tell you, don't ignore what was released over your life. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore your covenant, my God. Many of you have entered into covenant with the ministry. Don't ignore it. I was on the phone listening and I'm like, what covenant? And all I heard was Rev, the covenant for the church, the covenant partners. I said, oh, you see, it's not my blessing. It's your blessing. It's not my blessing. You pick yourself up. And visit a different church. But because you are in covenant over here. That pastor was able to see. That pastor was able. God revealed El Shaddai. To the pastor. To remind. Our member. That the covenant that you are in with the church. That's what's keeping you alive. I came out tonight to tell you, continue with your covenant. It might seem like it's nothing because it's just, we come out and we pray over our prayer requests. We pray over this, we pray over that. But I want you to understand that God is listening. He said, my ears is not deaf. He said, my ears is not deaf. I'm listening. So tonight we're going to pray over the covenant. I'm here tonight to pray. People of God, I want you to join me in prayer. For those of you who are in covenant with the ministry, remember your covenant. I'm here to pray. Remember, if God can show another man of God what's going on over here, it's time for you to shape up. Shape up. She, you see, Sunday when I was in church, I remember the Lord was using me to tell the people that sometimes when I go back and I watch the broadcast, it blesses me. It blesses me. You are getting good food over here. It blesses me to just go back and sit down and watch the broadcast. The, even the old ones. It's a blessing. So I want you to be in prayer mode. We're going to pray. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for tonight. We thank you for what you're doing in our midst. Have mercy upon us, O oh God. Tonight we ask you 
that anything that belonged to us in the sea to bring it forth. Daddy Jesus, tonight we ask you that anything that belongs to us that is in the air, bring it to us. Daddy, tonight we ask you that anything that belongs to us that under the earth to bring it to us. Tonight, oh God, we ask you that anything around us that belongs to us, reveal it to us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And so we call for our blessings from the east. We call it for it from the west, my God. We call for our blessings from the north. And we call for our blessings from the south. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Daddy, we thank you. We bless you. We bless you for unmerited favor. Many people don't even deserve the things that's happening in their life. But because of your blood, because of favor, oh God, we thank you for what you're doing for us. Lord, we thank you for what you have already done in our life. We thank you for what's to come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight, any place that our blessing is buried, we uproot it by the blood of Jesus Christ. Any place that our children's blessings are buried, tonight we uproot it and we call it forth from the four corners of the earth in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any place that they bury our pictures, our clothes, our money. Tonight, we uproot it and we call it forth. Jesus. Mighty God. Any place. Habaroko Sato. Any place that our blessing is buried. Tonight, we ask your Holy Ghost to allow the sword to locate our blessings. Tulobando korabaya kashata. Any place that our blessing is tonight, Holy Ghost, we ask you to locate it with the sword. As we raise this sword, mighty God, to locate our blessings and our children's blessings and our children's children's blessings and our children's 10th generational blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight we decree and we declare the Abrahamic covenant upon our life and the life of our children. In your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. Even now, O oh God, I cover myself in your blood. And I declare upon this platform that it will be well with your people. I put flesh under subjection. I slay flesh right now. And Holy Ghost, we welcome you. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in this hour. We welcome you to come and take your rightful position. Right now, touch my lips, O God, as I commit every soul in your care. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Welcome. Wherever you are connecting from, I encourage you to share tonight's broadcast. The Lord gave me a quick message and I came to deliver it. You see, the word of God said, Jeremiah told the people, he said, whether it be good or whether it be evil, we will obey the voice of the Lord to whom we send thee that it may be well with us. When we obey the voice of the Lord our God. So when you obey God. When you are an obedient servant. You see the Bible tells us. As disobedient is worse than witchcraft. Mm -hmm. Disobedience. Is worse. Than witchcraft. If you're joining for the first time, welcome. It's a holiday here. It's Monday night. Usually, 
we used to have our revival Monday. Revival mean that that's the day, you know, we pray that your spirit will be revived to last throughout the week. So I want you to be in prayer mode. We are going to pray right now over our covenant partners. Yes, right now. Initially, it was supposed to be for six months. And then the Lord said, continue the covenant. But seeing that this covenant is saving life, people of God, tap in to what God is doing here. Amen? You're not doing it for me. You're doing it for yourself. You're not doing it for anybody. You're doing it for you and your family. If a pastor can call it out, from another place in another country, what we are doing in El Shaddai. Then take your position and set yourself in alignment for your blessings. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You see, whatever God said, that's what we will do. And it's not difficult. Be obedient, my people. Let your yes be a yes, and let your nay be a nay. You see, the word of God said these people wanted to hear from God. And so, Jeremiah interceded on their behalf. And he said, I'm not going to hold nothing back. Whatever God said tonight, I'm telling you. I refuse to allow somebody foolishness to prevent me from going to bed. So, I want you to repeat after me. If you don't have the prayer with you, if you are not a covenant partner with the ministry, may the Lord bless you tonight. But we are here to pray over covenant. Amen. Father, I thank you that my seed will generate, will germinate and bear fruit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you that my house will be blessed. Father, I thank you that my family will be blessed. Father, I thank you that I will attract wealth wherever I go. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you. That my substance will increase. Father, I thank you that whatever I do, it will prosper and bear fruit in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, I thank you that I'm trusting you with my finances. Father, I thank you that I'm trusting you with my covenant seed. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Lord, I'm trusting you with my healing. Lord, tonight I'm trusting you with my deliverance. Tonight, Lord, I'm trusting you with my health. Oh God, tonight I'm trusting you with my marriage. Lord, I'm trusting you with my children. And dear marriage, tonight, Lord God, I'm trusting you with my ministry. I'm trusting you tonight, oh God, with my finances. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Lord, I'm trusting you that my store basket will never be empty. Lord, I'm trusting you that I am a covenant keeper. Oh God, I'm trusting you. As I lift my substance before you, I declare the favor of God and the favor of man. 
As I lift my substance before you, Lord, I declare that I will be unstoppable. As I lift my substance to you, Daddy Jesus, I declare that I, will, I, I am unshakable. As I lift my substance to you, Daddy Jesus, I declare that I am unbeatable in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My covenant seed will speak on my behalf. As I lift my substance to you, I'm declaring and I'm believing for God, believing God that whatever he said about my life, it will come to pass. I'm believing God that my covenant seed will block accident. You see, pay attention. I'm believing God. That my covenant seed will block accident. Tonight I'm believing God that my covenant seed will block premature debt in my family. I'm believing God that my covenant seed will generate generational blessings. I'm believing God that my covenant seed it will break curses. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Tonight, I'm believing God. I declare that my covenant seed will give me the wisdom of Solomon. Tonight, I decree and I declare that my covenant seed will give me the strength like Samson. Tonight, I decree and I declare that my covenant seed will give me the boldness like Esther. Hey, kababa kushata. Tonight I decree and I declare that my word, my word, my word will be sweet unto man. It will be seasoned with salt. I decree and I declare tonight the blessings of the Lord that make it rich and add no sorrow to be my portion. Tonight I decree and I declare. That I will carry the grace of God with me wherever I go. Tonight I decree and I declare that I'll be accepted in any place I enter. Any room I enter, I will be accepted. Tonight I decree and I declare that my children... That my children will be accepted any place they enter. Tonight I decree and I declare that this year is my year crowned with fatness. Tonight I decree and I declare that fat will drop in my path in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight I decree and I declare my covenant seed will do the work of God. Tonight I decree and I declare that my blessings will be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Tonight I decree and I declare that my children's blessings will be permanent. Habaroko Sataya. Tonight I decree and I declare that my joy will be permanent. Tonight I decree and I declare my peace will be permanent. Tonight I decree and I declare that my children's peace will be permanent. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight I decree and I declare that your life will be preserved because of your covenant seed. You see... That's the last prayer point. Your life will be preserved because of your covenant seed. The woman called me. She said, Pastor, I visited a church and the pastor called me up. And the pastor said to me, if it wasn't for my covenant seed in El Shaddai, I would have been a dead bird. No, I don't know that pastor. That pastor don't know me. But God revealed to the pastor 
what we are doing over here. Tonight, I declare upon your covenant seed that it will come to pass whatever you desire of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight I decree and I declare whatever you desire of the Lord, it will be your portion. You will live the life that, that will be pleasing in the sight of God. Your covenant seed will open doors that no man can shut. And as for those of you who have been involved in the building fund, even to be involved in our new place that we are moving to, your contribution to our new location. Tonight, I decree and I declare to everyone that has stretched forth your hands to be a blessing so we can afford to move into a better place, into a bigger space where we can go any day to pray. I declare upon your life that it will be well with you. In the name of Jesus Christ, people of God, I encourage you to let your yes be a yes and let your no be a no. The people said to Jeremiah, whatever God said that we are supposed to do, we are going to do it because we believe in the true and living God. Sometimes the things that the Lord will do, it will blow our mind out of our obedience. Out of our obedience, God will blow the mind of your children. Sister Glenna, welcome. God bless you. I'm coming to your town. I know you know. You must have heard by now. We are going to Grenada in two weeks. Hallelujah. Yes. We will be having baptism in Grenada. And we will be having a three-day program which involves a commissioning service. Hallelujah in Grenada. Mighty God. And the Spirit of the Lord is already there. We already send angels to be dispatched all over the building from the airport on the highway all the way to the place that we will be. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we decree and we declare that it will be a supernatural move. So we are looking forward to see you, Sister Glenna. We are looking forward to see you, Minister Angela, Brother Wilfred, and the crew. Prophetess Beverly. Yes. My God. We're looking forward to see the whole crew and the whole nine yards in Grenada. So people of God, I encourage you to stand your watch as we move from strength to strength in God, as we move from faith to faith in God, as we go from glory to glory in God. In God, we decree and we declare that it will be well. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my God, I'm sitting down here. Yeah. And when I received the news last week, I just started to worship God. And I said, God, I'm available for your use. Continue to use me. I am available. Sister Tawana, welcome. God bless you. Prophetess Bev, welcome. God bless you. <laughs> Amen. I'm just saying this to say that whatever God is doing, you can be a part of it. Many people are just sitting back with their arms folded and waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for. You may as well join us if you can't beat us. Many people try to beat me in the spirit, but God won't permit that. 
Amen? So tell them if they can't beat us, they may as well join us. Because El Shaddai Prayer International Inc. is here to stay. And God's work will be done through us. The work of God continues. Our next step is Grenada. And in November, it will be Jamaica. Come next year, we're going back to England. Hallelujah. Who can stop what God is doing? We are building a church in Jamaica. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, it will be completed. God will make a way to complete that building. We are doing building fund. We are still doing charity. The work of God continues. We trust a God that is alive. We don't serve dead God. Right, my son Joseph? We don't serve dead God. He is alive. And the, and the good thing about El Shaddai, we are international. We are accepted wherever we go. God opened doors for us even before we get there. So we give God honor and praise for what he is doing. The other day when I went to England, I, I thank God. I felt like I was home. I've never been there before. It was my first time. But when we got there, the people in England, it was mind-blowing. It was mind-blowing. So we give God honor and praise. When we went to Jamaica, it was a whole different story. There was no place for people to sit. We're just starting out. We have been sitting down for a couple of years now. We are out and about. We are going all over. Taking one city at a time. Like it or not. God is allowing this thing to happen. God has given us the permission to take over one city at a time. With the truth. You see, when you're coming with the truth, you don't worry about what people say. Once what you're saying is true, once there is proof and the proof is in the good book, he will allow it. Somebody said, I felt so much love when I went to Jamaica. Yes, Jamaica nice in its own rights. <laughs> Hallelujah. There were some naysayers, but we give God praise. Yes. Now we are moving from that hotel that we were in. We are moving to an office space where we can be seven days a week. God's willing to worship him, to win soul for the kingdom. And people of God, for those of you who pledge to give, remember your pledge. Amen. We need chairs. We need a few little bitty things inside the rooms. So we're still looking for help. And if you are here and you have, some people said, I only write checks. Yes, you can write a check to El Shaddai. Just write El Shaddai on the check. El Shaddai. We have an account. We are legit. We are a non-profit organization. My God. We are located now. In Hartford, Connecticut, we were in East Hartford for nine months. So we have given birth. Hallelujah. The word of God has come to pass. What are you waiting for? What, what are you expecting from God? Who do you need to forgive so you can be blessed? Sometimes God is waiting for some of you to forgive people so your blessing can come. God is waiting for you, some of you to repent. Because many people are still practicing witchcraft. And God is saying, I'm not going to bless you if you're still going to that Obia man. Many, of, many are saying that they're not giving any money to the church, but they have their Obia man. Ooh.
We are still waiting. For people to repent so they, we can see God bless them. Some people need to repent. Sister Christine, we welcome you. God bless you. There were some people in New York that told me, I'm not coming to your place until you have a place that we can come to sit down. We sat down in the hotel in Holiday Inn for nine months and you didn't come. Now we are moving to another place. But this place, we have signed a lease. And we need a few things for the children's church. Yes. Hallelujah. We are in expectancy for even the children to start give birth. Birth out what God placed in them. Ay, Jesus. So for those of you who don't know, now we are moving. We are moving to Hartford. So we're moving from East Hartford to Hartford. And this Wednesday we will have fasting service at our new location. So if you come and you don't have any place to sit, you just have to stand. We don't have enough chairs. We need chairs. We need a few things. Amen. So we are waiting on the Lord to open the door. Hallelujah. So we can have all we need. It's a process, people of God. It won't be as fancy. Sunday when I was in church, I was telling the people, if you want to go take picture, there's a nice centerpiece in the holly, in, in the in the um the hallway, the entrance of the hotel that they can go and take pictures. That was our last Sunday at 100 East River Drive. East Hartford. Now we are in Hartford. So I'm here to let you know people of God. This Wednesday we will have service. And Friday night we will be having Friday night service. As long as I am here in Connecticut we will be having service Wednesday, Friday and Sunday. Every week. We're going to rip, rip the brakes off of the Holy Spirit. We're going to use the Holy Spirit to our advantage. Yes. Yeah, we will be at 60 Forest Street in Hartford. Hallelujah. We will be riding the brakes off of the Holy Spirit. We're going to use the Holy Spirit to our advantage all the way. My God. So for those of you who are part of the church who don't have a prayer life, who your prayer life need to be ignited, we are inviting you to come to church. Amen. Yes. We are inviting you to come to church. And this is not for show. There is nothing to show off about. It will be well in the name of Jesus Christ. God gave me this short message. So here I am to let you know. So we're going to have a few changes with our Bible study. We usually have our Wednesday night Bible study. So there, there will be a few changes. The day, the day of our Bible study online is going to change. So tomorrow... I would like to meet every one of our members on Zoom. Hallelujah. I'll go live for a brief moment and then we switch over to Zoom to have a members meeting. People of God, listen. God don't tell lie. I've been sitting in my kitchen for almost four years preaching before God gave us a place. You see, God will wait for you. We, many of us, we're greedy. We want everything big right away. But God will call you faithful when you are faithful with a little bit. Jesus said, well done, my good and faithful servant. Thou have been faithful over a few things. Now I'm going to make you ruler over many. So nothing happens overnight. I've been waiting for this. 
Many have been waiting for this for years. Sister Sophia, we have moved. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Chev, we have moved. El Shaddai was birthed in my kitchen. And we have been in the hotel. Some people said, I'm not coming to the hotel to church when you move. So here we are. It is well. So for those of you who are ready to come to church, we will be there waiting for you. We need chairs, people of God. We need a few little things to make it happen. So tomorrow I'll be there and I think I'm going to go live so you get a peek, a sneak peek. Listen. It's right across from Hartford High School. It's right exactly across from Hartford High School. When I'm standing at our, our, our entrance door, I'm looking at the high school auditorium. So it's across from Hartford High School. We're on the same street as the school. Yes. So for those of you who are out of state, now you know where we are. For those of you who are near, now you know where to find us. Yes, Miss um, Sister Ivan, that's the address. Save it. Save the address. So the next time you come back to Connecticut, that's where you'll find me. That's where I'll be spending most of my time. Hallelujah. That is where I will be spending most of my time right there so people of god i encourage you to come out many of you yes i encourage you to come out sister sister marcia jones it's time for you and minister jackie to roll up and show up for church yes it's time sister zelfa you're gonna have to fly over you said it was hard for me for you for me to see if I come to Toronto. So you're gonna have to come to or go to Brampton. So you're gonna have to fly over to Connecticut. Yes. Air Canada um fly to Connecticut. So you can come. We give God praise. This is our new season. You see. One of the most beautiful thing, one of the strongest person you can find is a person that have entered into their season. You can't stop them. When a person have entered in their season, there's nothing you can do. And El Shaddai have entered. Deacon Bailey, welcome. El Shaddai have entered into a season where no one can do anything anything about it is the lord's work when a person have entered into their season you can't touch them and el shaddai have entered the whole church have entered into a new season it doesn't matter where you're located. As long as you are a member of the church, it's your season. It is your season. If you are a member of this ministry, it is your season. Because we have birthed. Ah, Jesus. We have birthed. It's okay to listen to people pray and talk and whatever. But when the thing come to pass, it means that it's the season. It's birthing season. It is the season. We prayed and this is what God gave us. 
And we decree and declare that the next move it will be ours. Ah. God has spoken. God don't lie to us. God did not lie to us. He has kept his word. So if you are a member of this ministry, be prepared for your portion. Be prepared. God don't lie. And every one of you will have your testimony. What a mighty God we serve. Everyone will have their personal testimony. This is what God is doing. It has nothing to do with me. It is for the church. So now I'm, yes, Sister Dana Black, I'm waiting on my testimony now and my children's testimony. I'm waiting. Oh, Jesus. So wait on your testimony. Be prepared. As long as you know that you are a faithful servant of the ministry, get ready for your testimony. Your tithes will speak on your behalf. Your covenant seed will... God don't lie. So right now, I just want to pray before we go. Amen. I'll be back tomorrow around afternoon time. Maybe around six-ish. Somewhere there. Or earlier. We will be having our members meeting on Zoom. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you for what you have done. We just want to tell you thanks, Lord. You have done it before and you're going to do it again and again and again and again for your people. And Lord, we just want to bask right now into it. We stretch out before you right now, buddy, Daddy Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for results. You show us that with man, it is impossible. But with you, oh God, all things are possible because we believe. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you for our enemies. We thank you for those who throw stones at us. We thank you for the naysayers. We thank you for the gainsayers. We thank you, Lord God, for the backstabbers. We thank you, oh God, for those who speak negative and ill of us and the ministry. Lord, we thank you. They pushed us into birthing season. So we ask you, Lord, to send more enemies because the hotter the battle, the sweeter the victory. Oh, Lord, we ask you to take glory. Take your glory right now from everything that we are doing. Take your glory, Daddy Jesus, and let it be well with us. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm thankful. I'm grateful. I thank God for the enemies that were created. I thank God for the stones that they threw at me. I thank God for the negative things that was said about the ministry, that was said about the people of the ministry, that was said about me. I thank God. I'm thankful because that was what pushed us into our birthing season. People of God, when people speak bad of you, thank God for it. It keep you in prayer. So we thank God for those who gossip about us. So we thank God for those. There were some people, God used me to tell them to pay their tithes, and they spoke against the ministry. So I thank God for them too. I thank God for the ones who held back, who refused to be a blessing. We thank God for them. 
so they won't get to take God's glory. We thank God for each and every one of them that force us to be where we are today. We thank God for those who didn't believe in us and believe in the things that God is using us to do. Hallelujah. We thank God for the people that did not believe in the things that God was doing among us. They force us to stay in fasting and prayer. So we thank God for this season. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People of God, now you see. We are building the church in Jamaica. And we are doing great things for the Lord. God is with us. When Nehemiah was building the wall. And Tobiah. Hey, anybody remember? Those men. Oh, Jesus. When they tried to get him from his assignment. He said, no, I'm not coming. God is with me. Hallelujah. When they try, and they didn't catch him, Nehemiah started hiding. Sometimes you have to go in hiding when you're doing God's work. You have to be invisible. He started to move at night. Ooh. When Sambalat and Tobiah wanted to destroy him, and they found out that he was so fervent, and radical with a strong zeal in the Lord. And they couldn't get him to be distracted. They sent men to kill him. They sent men to destroy him. But tonight I want to tell you. I thank God for all those Tobiah and those Sambalat. We thank God for the Judas and the Jezebel that passed through El Jadai. We thank God. We thank God for the Ahab that passed through. We thank God for the Moses, the, yes, the Joseph, the Joshua, the David that passed through El Shaddai. We thank God for standing up for us, for the things that we have passed through. The many nights I couldn't sleep. I thank God for those sleepless nights. We thank God for what he's doing. We thank God for what he has done. And the last thing we're going to thank God for, he has been fighting for us and he's still fighting for us. And we have so much more to birth out. And our seed will not be swallowed by any python spirit. No serpent from the pit of hell will eat up our finances. Because we are under covenant. Under the canopy of God. Our Savior will cover us and give us security. We are under the canopy of God. So we thank God for his canopy. We thank him for saving grace. We thank him. Our daddy is a champion. He win every fight. So all who try to fight El Shaddai, we get to see firsthand that Jesus Christ is boss. We don't have to lift a finger. We don't have to get into any altercation with anybody. Because Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, he stand up for us. And tonight I declare over this platform, may the Lord fight all your battles. May the Lord do you good in the name of Jesus Christ. May he lift every burden tonight. He said, cast all your cares on me. God never lose a fight. And he has been fighting for us. But tonight I declare. Oh Jesus. 
oh Lord, have mercy upon your people. Let it be well with them. Have mercy upon them, oh God. Give them victory. Give them that unmerited favor that they don't deserve. Oh Jesus, come and have your way tonight. Give them sweet sleep. Many of them don't sleep. And tonight we ask you for sweet sleep. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. I'm, I'm thankful to God for tonight. That I was able to come out and bring forth what the Lord placed in my heart for the ministry. So if you're here for the first time, God bless you. May the Lord be with you and your family. So we thank God for all the warfare that we were fighting in secret in order to get to where we are. And we pray that we, we will continue to pray in secret and watch manifestation take place. We thank God. So we pray that he will provide all we need, all the necessities so we don't have to beg stranger for anything. I pray that God bless the members of El Shaddai. So we don't have to ask anyone for anything. One of my daughters said to me, Mommy, I wish I had everything you need for the church. So you don't have to ask for anything. And I said to her, no, we need the people of the church to be blessed. So this is why we ask the people of the church to bless it so they can be blessed. So tonight I declare over your life that you will be blessed enough to be a blessing to the ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release supernatural breakthrough. Hallelujah. I release it in abundance. It doesn't matter where you are. Take your portion. Take your portion. Take your portion of love. Let me send love into your direction. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord pour it out on you tonight. May the Lord pour out his blessings upon you. Mm. In the name of Jesus. May you find peace. With man and peace with God. According to your covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. My time is up. I have to go. I'm so thankful to God for what he did for the ministry. Amen. I know he's going to bless me. Because he never failed me yet. He never failed me yet. Jesus Christ never failed me yet. Anywhere I go. I want the world to know. You see, yes, it's good to prophesy. It's good to preach. It's good to do all of those things. But it's also good to praise God for what he did for you. Amen? Yes. So we have to praise him. We have to praise him for what he did. Yes, it's good to sit down and read the Bible and share the scriptures and do Bible study. It's good to preach. It's good to prophesy. It's good to do all of those things. But the most important thing to do, God is waiting for us to praise him. He's jealous. He likes to be praised. He wants us to worship him. He wants us to magnify him. He wants us to adore him. God wants us to acknowledge him. He wants us to have an attitude of gratitude. Hallelujah. So let us thank him. Bible said be thankful unto him. And bless his name for he is good. And it's just time for us to just stretch out before him and just say, Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We are in the month of September. For me, it's like Christmas in September. Why? Because of what God did. Listen, don't wait for big things to happen in your life to praise God and to be thankful. He said, be thankful and bless his name because he's good. In all things, give thanks unto God. So don't wait until you buy a house. Listen to me. Having that place is like having 10 houses to me. That's how I'm feeling. 
having a place of worship where we can go daily, to me, it's like owning 10 homes because it's the house of God. Ah, I wish, I wish you would understand where I'm at. Hallelujah. So without further ado, my time is up. Let, let us share the grace. I feel good. Let us share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. And surely, goodness and mercy shall follow you and follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Hey, Heida, that's my friend from China. <laughs> Sister Ada Kang, welcome. It's my friend all the way from China. You see, let me tell you, God is great. Amen. We serve a mighty God. We serve a powerful God. God don't lie. So I want you to understand it is well. Trust God. Whatever you are worried about, give it to God. Amen. Have yourself a wonderful night. Stay blessed.